Hello guys, today I'm driving in my IS2 on the map cliff and for the viewers that already noticed it I'm driving in the IS2 with the second gun and the stock turret and as I said we're driving on cliff and we are in a really hard matchup we're against tier 9s and to make matters a bit worse um, for our two tier 7s the enemy gets two tier 8 scouts so GG for the matchmaking war gaming but let's see how this turns out um, winning cliff I'm always driving uh, towards the same position guys I really think this position is overpowered on cliff you just need to make sure about certain aspects and that is um, does your team goes to towards F3 and another one is does the enemy have RT um, well in this case the enemy team does have RT uh, but it's an RT with a win rate of 45% and a W and 7 of 14 relative so yeah we're gonna take the chance because we can dish out a lot of damage here and yeah the T-54 of the enemy team still tries to drive towards E3 so we can dish out some damage to him we try to angle our IS-2 there, but yeah, that's not uh, not gonna work uh, against a tier 9 medium and especially not a T-54, it's a beast of a tank guys in the, in the right hands. We still pre end at the position of the T-54 while looking at the 3090. Uh, we saw the T-54 uh, poking out again and we could hit a land a shot. And guys, um, if you're wondering and if you're pretty new to the game, you can do that with uh, pressing and holding your right mouse button and then your turret doesn't move anymore and that means you keep your accuracy. So again, uh, we haven't been hit by RT or even saw a shell landing close to us, so we still continue to work this location and yeah, we already plinked on the minimap and hoping our team from F3 goes to E3 so we can crossfire the T54 together with the already death uh, 132 and yeah guys this is the IS-2 and especially with the second gun also with the best gun on it uh, it has the accuracy of an RT uh, it has a 0.48 accuracy and the aiming time is 3.8 seconds um, to say the least that's horrible and yeah of course we tried to snapshot the T-54 but that's not gonna work we're not fully aimed yet but it was our last chance to hit the T-54 and luckily the shell goes in Well, the enemy team knows now we are working that kind of uh, that part of the ridge, so we try to surprise them by going here. But here you can see the Chinese lineup is just really, really bad. Um, with the uh, gun repression, there we tried to shoot the T44. It didn't work out for us, and and that's because of the gun repression. So we're gonna drive towards a bit of better location um, where we don't have the bother of working with our gun repression. And guys, I see a super piercing here, but I also see a Yacht Tiger. And the Yacht Tiger is a tier 9 TD and killing him would benefit our team way more than killing a premium tier 8 tank. So I was aiming for him and tried to aim there again. I see I don't have a shot on him. I do have a shot on the super piercing, but the Steve 44 just drives out in the open, so why not take a, a shot on him? So again, we're trying to peek out again, shoot the T44, but our super piercing does a wonderful job. And here we're just yeah gonna accept the aiming super piercing, which didn't fire up on us for some reason, and we kill the yacht tiger. So the only thing we need to worry about now is that the enemy team doesn't 
cap us and wow surprise the Panther 2 is already there and we really hope that our uh, WZ uh, which is a tier 9 heavy uh, can manage to spot the uh, IS-6 and the Panther 2 so we're aiming here almost fully aimed and yeah that's the IS-2 guys no accuracy long aim time and a penetration of even with the with the best gun 175 here we have a kind of a lucky shot on the IS-6 we pen him in the sights and that's basically because we fired AP um, if you're gonna use heat guys on spaced armor it will no pen instantly um, for some examples of those uh, space armor tanks are the IS-6 the Super Pershing but also the side skirts of the E-100 so if you're wondering why you didn't do a lot of damage on the E-100 when shooting heat that's the reason why here we can land fortunately where you can land a damage shot on the Panther 2 and yeah the game is already won uh, it's 12 versus 8, uh, 12, 8 now we ding the copy of the Panther 2 so yeah really unlucky there and yeah we hope to land another shot we're just a bit too late the T32 lands his shot and yeah that's, that's basically a bit crappy but let's look at some uh, post game uh, analysis we see we got the ace tanker badge on this this game really nice um, a 1500 base experience game with a 2250 experience on a premium account we're also seeing that we did 3.7k damage and 900 damage upon assisting we spotted two guys the T-54 and the Yak Tiger and we sure gave our team a lot of opportunities to do some damage upon assisting looking at our team um, for a strange reason, reason we had to carry the game in our IS-2 in a tier 9 match man oh man uh, but we were really fortunate that the enemy team wasn't playing that well and our team was playing decent and yeah looking a bit closer towards our performance we fired 18 shots of which 13 hit with an eyes to on an open map like cliff or for example a Lufer steps that's not really surprising we also only pens 9 times uh, yeah guys in a tier 9 match with 175 pen that's also not really surprising we damaged or uh, we managed to do 3.7k damage and we only re received one shot of the T-54 in the beginning we spotted two enemies and damaged six of which we killed two so all in all a decent game in the IS-2 I hope to bring you also a game with the IS-2 with the best gun on it which will be a, hopefully a bit better and I really hope to uh, you had uh, fun watching this and hope to see you soon on Twitch or YouTube again guys. Thanks for watching.